If you're one of my five faithful subscribers, you're familiar with this um, Molly 2 three-day assault pack or large assault pack. Um, I understand they're kind of they're kind of rare now, but uh, it's a great pack, and um, I, I like it a lot. I've used it for my get home bag. I used it uh, when I competed in Brent 0331's contest and won. Uh, this was the bag I used, but that's not what this video is about. Today I want to talk about my newest find, its little brother, or its predecessor, the Molly 2 Patrol Pack. So I was at my favorite surplus store, just digging around in the piles of, of stuff, and um, saw some neat stuff. A couple of uh, Tactical Tailor Malice packs, uh, but I've got one. So, But then I, I saw this little guy, and I um, wasn't for sure what I had right at the moment, but after looking at it a little bit, I remembered that there was an earlier version of this pack that was the patrol pack. And when I say earlier version... It was the, the small pack that went with the earlier version of the Molly 2 kit. And um, so I, I had to have it. I spent too much for it. Paid $29 for it, but I had to have it. Now, this pack here, I've got some stuff on it. And I just, I'm, I'm, I've got it outfitted the way I want it, so I didn't take it off. But um, you can see that it's got some uh, canteen uh, pouches on it. And then I've added a little bit of... Um, uh, padding both to the back and to the uh, shoulder straps other than that this is as is the way it came and I got them both loaded up just so you can see how they look uh, totally full this one's got a little bit of damage there that I'm gonna have to go work on but uh, I understand that both these packs are getting kind of rare so I wanted to go ahead and I'd never seen them before I'd never seen one, so I really wanted to grab it while I had a chance because I think they're going to become less and less available. So, very happy with the find. I remember saying, if you go back and watch my video on this pack, I remember saying I wish it was a little bit smaller. And now it is. I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. Now let's look at some of the differences between the two packs and some of the similarities. Okay, first of all, for, for you number people, um, the three-day assault pack has about 2,000 cubic inches total, both both uh, uh, pockets, whereas the patrol pack only has about 1,200. And and you know you can see that looking at them. On the outside, they look pretty much the same, with with a few important differences, but pretty much the same. The weight, this guy here is going to be 3.7 pounds empty. This guy over here. We don't know yet. We're going to weigh him here in a minute. I couldn't find information on it. So let's look at look at the outside of it. Uh, you've got these uh, compression straps. I'm going to call them that. Yeah, compression straps because I've shown you how you can uh, put some gear in the old Civil War uh, 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 roll fashion on these on these things. Compression straps on both of them. Now what these really were for was attaching to the main pack. So they both have it and they also have the little uh, fast texas underneath. But they have a dual purpose. You can use them to attach gear. They both have the antenna slash uh, um, hydration ports on both sides. They both have the same Molly or PALS webbing on the side. You can see that it's covered up by, by this guy but um, they're exactly the same. Now, here's a difference. The assault pack has compression straps, two of them on each side, right? This guy's clean, doesn't have anything, okay? Now, looking at the front, they've got the same PALS webbing bar up here. Eh, I don't know that that's anything important. And then you get down to the Claymore bag, and this is obviously bigger than this one okay um, another difference is it's got this external pocket 
and an internal pocket, if I remember correctly, whereas this one only has an internal pocket. And frankly, that internal pocket is not much use. This one also zips up, whereas this one does not. It only has um, uh, one of those lock, what do they call them, tunnel locks? Whatever they're called. Uh, a lock for the, for the uh, 550 or, or the cord going through. So there's a difference there. On the back, straps are very different. And I find this interesting because over here, the straps come off on the bottom, but they're permanently attached on the top. Over here, they're permanently attached on the bottom, but they come off on the top. I just think that is very, very odd. Very odd. Now this guy, they've thought about it and they've made it so that there's, there's this pouch here that has openings at both corners so that if you are wearing this on t on piggyback on the main pack you can take this these uh, uh, straps and fold them in here because you're not supposed to have all this crap that I've put on here this guy mm, no you don't have any way to doing that and I got I got to stop right here and say I'm not thrilled with the, the um, width of the patrol packs straps, I may end up replacing these because I could replace these with some of those Alice type straps that use Fastex buckles, and I think I'd be happier there. Uh, so you may end up seeing me do that. Now up here, you'll notice that there's two possibilities on the width of the uh, uh, attachment to the shoulder straps. I guess that's so if you're, if, you know, not wearing any other gear, you, you, you feel like it's too far out on your shoulders, you can tighten up the, um, the, the difference between the two. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work to me. Anyway, they're okay straps, but uh, they just seem a little, a little narrow to me. I like the width here. Now, here's what's funny. There's more padding here than there is here. Very, very odd. Very, very odd. And of course, they got the quick release uh, uh, Molly type things, and this is just fast eggs. On the bottom, you've got pretty much the same same stuff. You've got some attachment loops so that you could you could attach something. And according to the manual, really what you were supposed to do with this patrol pack is you were supposed to use it this way but if you needed more room you could attach to the bottom that little uh, waste pack that came with the uh, whole molly set and that would give you some more some more room so you know i really i really think maybe this was a better idea as far as size than this because this is a pretty good size pack and and this one gave you the ability to add stuff whereas this one was just already big you know uh one a little bit of housekeeping. The uh, the name uh, slider was here, but it was damaged, so I took it off um, just because it was damaged and, and kind of in the way. So I took that off. This actually, I don't usually buy damaged pieces of gear. Um, I'm kind of picky, and uh, I bought it because it's, it's rare, uh, but I don't normally buy stuff in this condition uh, it's got just a, a couple little things wrong with it now you'll see this strap in here um, this had its two on the inside both of these are jump capable they come with those uh, straps on the inside that the army dogs like to weave into something so they can jump with it I cut that stuff off it has no purpose for me so that's gone okay let's uh, empty these guys or at least empty this one and look inside and, and see what's on the inside All right on the inside of the patrol pack there's really nothing uh, in the main pouch it's just uh, one big pocket now there are these little attachments so that you can fit that uh, radio pocket in here which if you did that you wouldn't be carrying much but the radio but you have that option now as I said inside the Claymore pouch is a little pocket it's uh not much of a little pocket but I'd, I'd call it more of a divider it's not going to hold a lot and that's all there is so 
very simple which which a patrol pack or an assault pack should be and i tell you what i like this thing it's the right size it's the right size for a little assault pack or a, a patrol pack and you know and i've spoken about this before <sighs> The use of the term assault pack, three-day assault pack. Um, if you're going into a three-day assault, I think you ought to carry your main pack and have it staged at some company-level area. Um, but if you're going into an assault, and most assaults are going to be, you know, one-day assaults, and after that you have to be resupplied, and your pack can, can be resupplied to you. Um... I think this is big enough for it. I think this is kind of large. I mean, if I was having to move and carry that thing with me, I'd want to go with a smaller one because that would carry the main things, which would be water, food, and ammo. Um, maybe a little bit of squad gear. I will, I will say um, the three-day patrol, I want a three- or five-day patrol scenario that Brent had, this was pushing it. I mean, I got everything in there that I needed, but I was also wearing deuce gear. This was pushing it. I'd have to have something a little bit bigger if I was going for much longer than that. But for a one-day patrol or assault, I like this one a lot. All right, let's see what it weighs. All right, there you go. The patrol pack with nothing in it weighs 2.24 pounds. All right, that's pretty, that's pretty light. That's pretty light for a military-grade pack. Um, I, don't, I don't think you can do any better. I tell you what, I'm very, I feel very blessed to have found this thing, and uh, like I said, I'm probably going to upgrade the straps, but this is a pack I'm going to start using. I'm, I'm very excited about it, and happy to have found it, and I just wanted to show it to you. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks a lot.